Hey lovelies! Oh my god! I can't remember when I did the say lovelies last. Oh, this is so like, huh? Anyways, oh, hey lovelies! Welcome back to my channel. Yes. Oh, it feels so like, wow, it's been a long time. I know I've been uploading videos. I've been trying to be consistent, right? I know that. But those videos are actually old videos when I was in Manila because I'm no longer in Manila right now. Yeah. For now, I'm not in Manila at the moment. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. I know it's been ages since I did a, not only a sat down video, but like, you know, I did our work for the week. And trust me, whenever it's Sunday, and I'm not just supposed to upload a video for our work for the week, I'm always like, ah. I always feel guilty for not uploading trust me and i'm sincerely sorry about that like a lot has been ongoing with your girl a lot has been going on but that is not why we're here today so once again welcome back to my channel welcome back to another day of our work for the week welcome back to not even welcome back happy new month <laughs> welcome back happy new month welcome to the month of october october is our month of victory victory over death victory over sin victory over shame victory over lack whatever it is you, you have victory this month of october and more months to come so yeah welcome to a new month and also happy sunday happy first sunday of the month of october you all i hope you all are good I'm sincerely so happy to see you all today. I am happy and I hope you're happy to see me. Anyways, let's go right into our words for the week. Actually, I just came back from church right now, like right now. I haven't even drank for that. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I have to upload our word for the week today. I can't keep on saying next Sunday, next Sunday, next Sunday. And that's why I don't know if I'm looking tired. Is it, is it noticeable? Wherever I can share. I'm here. That's the most important thing. So yeah, welcome to another day of our word for the week. And for our word for the week, our Bible verse will be taken from the book of Job, Job chapter 22 from verse 28 to 29. Again, Job 22 from verse 28 to 29. And I'll be reading using the NIV translation. And it says that what you decide, what you decide on will be done and light will shine on your ways when people are brought low and you say lift them up then you will save the downcast that's what the niv and for the kjv um paraphrase it says that whatever you declare on whatever you decree on or declare on is going to come to pass and when men are saying there's a casting down, you say there's a lifting up. That's paraphrase, paraphrase for the KJV translation. Now, what I want you all to do for me is, I want you to make declarations as you go into this new week. Make declarations concerning your life, for your future, for your family. If you don't even want to declare concerning your life, at least declare for others. See me, I want positive declarations for my life. So if you don't know what to declare for yourself, please declare, decree and declare on my behalf that God should bless me, that God should keep me, that God should make my path straight. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is that we have to make declarations. You have to decree. And one thing we fail to know as believers, because I believe that I'm talking, I'm talking to believers right now, right? One thing we fail to know as believers is our turn a powerful. I think you even know, but then you don't even take it serious. Your words are extremely powerful, and you you can actually use your word to speak something great to your life that is really going to be effort in the future. So this week, this new month, okay, this year, I want you to like before you go into this week, in fact, before you enter Monday, let me start with Monday, okay? Before you enter Monday, I want you to decree and declare declare something great for yourself and for your family for your life for your nation just make declarations you can and when i say make declarations i mean speak life into yourself if you're going through a bad situation especially that looks so impossible that looks so you know like it will never end i want you to speak something speak life into that situation and when I say you should decree and declare or you should speak something into your life or into that situation, I want you to actually use it. I want you to speak with faith. Faith, believing that whatever it is that you say will definitely come to pass. And it might not actually look like it, but then 
just make sure that while you're making those declarations you have faith deep within yourself you have faith in your heart that whatever you decree and declare is going to come to pass so that is what i want us to that's what i believe that the lord wants us to carry this week this month and this year okay make declarations don't when when people are saying ah there's a casting down you should be the one to say there's a lifting up you should be the one to say no that is not my reality do you understand so speak life into whatever situation you are in speak in fact right now i want you to begin to open your mouth and begin to say something speak something positive into your life i am blessed i am the head and not the tail above only and not beneath no weapon formed against me shall prosper and my god will supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory through christ jesus i am a light i shall rise and shine because my light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me Begin to open your mouth and begin to declare life into your your situations, your family, your nation, whatever whatever thing that you're facing right now that looks dead, speak life into it. So that is what I want us to really. I believe that the Lord wants us to carry this week, this month, and this year. Okay. So remember what the Bible says in Job 22 verse 38 to 29 that when you decree something, when whatever you say, says in NIV that. What you decide on will be done. So you have to decide. What are you deciding on? Are you deciding on something negative? Or are you deciding on something positive? You have to choose. For me and my family, we are deciding on something positive. We are deciding on something great. Because great things are bound to happen to us. Okay. So now I want you to decide. I want you to make declarations this week, this year, this month. Alright? So that is it for our word for the week. It feels so good to be back. Trust me. And I hope you learned at least one or two things from today's word for the week so you all to take good care of yourself and uh, i hope you are all keeping up with my videos the interviews i've been uploading trust me they are very interesting and fun all the same thank you all so much for your love and your support for our new subscribers thank you so much for our old subscribers thank you all for still staying i do appreciate each and every one of you right so take care of yourself i love you and god bless you